Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. Thank you for turning to my channel. If you haven't done so already, four things. One, hit the subscribe button. Two, hit the bell notification. Hit the like button. And if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend. I always appreciate a growing audience. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? How you feeling? Hey, what's going on, man? All right, all right, all right. How you been? How's it going? Yeah, I just do another video. Yeah? What's something we're gonna do? Well, I want to talk about this supplement here. Oh, that one? Okay. And you know we can't do brands or doses. Hey, would it be okay if I do it? Oh, you want to do it? How about this? How about I do the supplements and you do the conditions? Hey, feel free. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to have my partner here. That sounds good. Do the video. All right, sounds good. And as usual, we can't talk about brands or dosage, so please don't ask us. <laughs> oh, no, we can't talk about dosage or brands. You showed it, though but we can't talk about dosage or brands. Please don't ask us about dosage or brands, please. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Enjoy, and enjoy the video. All right, hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. Four things, subscribe, like, bell notification, leave a comment. I had a viewer write in, please do a review on this supplement. Now you know I can't say it out loud, all right due to copyright laws. But he was curious about magnesium l 3 8 Magnesium l 3 8 is phenomenal for cognition, for memory, for memory recall, for brain fog. Magnesium is actually the fourth most abundant mineral in the body, and in addition, mineral is a cofactor for more than 600 enzymatic reactions in the body. So basically that means is you need magnesium to for the chemical reactions to occur. And if you're stressed out, if you're sick, if you're on you know, a bad diet, you're gonna have a natural deficiency in magnesium as a whole. Without magnesium, the brain cannot produce what's called cellular ATP. We have all these cells in the body, and one of the cells in particular, the organelles, is called the mitochondria. Now the mitochondria is, I always refer to it as a powerhouse of the cell because the end, what the mitochondria does, it produces your cellular energy in the form of what's called ATP. So the goal is always, what can you do to increase the mitochondria to produce more ATP? Magnesium is one of them because all brain, with the brain cannot, if the brain cannot produce ATP due to magnesium, magnesium deficiency, all brain functions shut down. Now the good thing about magnesium L3 and 8, it crosses what's called the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier is like a cellophane wrap around the brain that protects the brain from certain toxins, chemicals, and there's only a few things that actually cross that blood-brain barrier and magnesium L3 and 8 is one of them. Okay, so what is magnesium L3 and 8? What is the benefit of this supplement? Please tell me. It's a synthesized magnesium supplement that combines threonic acid or threonic, threonic, threonic acid with magnesium salt. Now, I'm just going to go back and forth here. Threonic acid is a byproduct that occurs when vitamin C breaks down metabolically. So it's a byproduct, threonic acid. So magnesium doesn't naturally exist on its own it forms salts, like Epsom salts. Epsom salt is another way to say magnesium salts. It's a salt with other substances. For example, magnesium oxide. Now magnesium oxide, if you have constipation, it'll clear you out. So magnesium is a salt. Uh, oxide is something else, so they combine the two. So elemental magnesium. Now there's a lot of questions I get about what is elemental magnesium, or they throw the, magne the elemental magnesium out there in a term. It's the amount of actual magnesium in the supplement. Now remember, magnesium is a salt. The elemental magnesium is the amount of the magnesium salt that you are getting, not the whole product. So magnesium L3 and 8 is in the group of what's called magnesium amino acids that do not rely on the absorption of elemental magnesium in the digestive system. So magnesium amino acids depend on the biochemical process that break down proteins because what are amino acids? Peptides, proteins. So this group of magnesium amino acids 
includes magnesium glycinate, taurate, orotate, lysinate, and threonate. So you have the magnesium salt with the magnesium amino acid group. Okay, so I hope this drawing eliminates confusion about elemental magnesium. Remember, elemental magnesium stands alone and it's combined with a magnesium amino acid. So when you take the chemical structure of magnesium, remember it is the fourth ab most abundant mineral that's needed for, for the body to work. So chemically you have magnesium, which is that is your elemental magnesium. So when you read the back of the bottles, it does say the percentage of, a magne of elemental magnesium. Then you got threonic acid. So when you combine the two, that's where you get magnesium L-threonate. So this is where you get the elemental magnesium on the back of the bottle. So I hope this helps. Thank you. So the mechanism. So how does this thing work? Magnesium threonate is amazing. And remember, do your own research. I can only do so much. There's a lot of information out there. Do your own research on the product and also to the dosage because the dosage varies. So the mechanism, how does this work? It assists in converting energy by food to produce more ATP in the mitochondria. Like I said, the more ATP is produced in the mitochondria in the cell, hair, skin, nails, brain, whatever, the better the system works. So this is always the goal is to pinpoint on the mitochondria to produce more ATP. How are you going to do it? It's needed for synthesis of DNA and RNA or genetic coding. ATP must be bound to a magnesium ion, magnesium ATP, in order to be biologically active. So we have all these types of channels in our cells that need magnesium to activate. So the ones that in particular, the ability to learn and to form memories, the magnesium ions control the ion channels or the electrical switches for this signaling. So the more magnesium three nates you have in your system, the better the learning process in this particular case. Now remember, there's you've seen my other videos, there's a lot of other supplements that have these ion channels, electrical switches, when turned on, they could boost learning, memory, recoil, less brain fog. Now what about the benefits of this? Okay, now it comes to the benefits of taking magnesium L3 and 8. Again, it's a phenomenal supplement. I can't find enough research on this and how it benefits the person overall, memory, Alzheimer's, dementia, things like that are definitely magnesium L3 and 8 is good for. So the benefits, the key thing is remember it does cross the blood brain barrier. So this is one of those magnesium supplements that does a lot of brain benefit. And since it passes a blood brain barrier, the effects are almost immediate. And also you can sandbag the dosage. So if you have that meeting coming up, you can take it every single day and maybe a couple more dosage dosages for the meeting and then it stores it for a couple days afterwards and then you excrete it out. So you don't have to take it every day as a supplement. You can if you want to or if you want to sandbag it and just wait until that big event occurs, then you can do it that way. Because if there's, I take a lot of supplements. So I don't always have to take this every single day because I have a lot of other supplements that does the job similar to this. But if I need that one big memory supplement, this is the one for it. So benefits, raising brain magnesium levels, restore neuroplasticity. Now remember neuroplasticity is cells that fire together, wire together. This is the process of learning. This is why we do, we do repetitions, we do repetitions, we study, we learn, we study, we learn, we keep it going because the brain is a phenomenal organ because the number one thing is if you don't use it, you so restore neuroplasticity and improve cognitive function. Okay, so there's a lot of benefits. I just went on these two, the brain and the heart. So the brain, it regulates brain synaptic activity, which is critical for learning and memories, hence neuroplasticity. So the more magnesium you have floating around up here, it does increase the brain synapses, which is the communication between your neurons, the nerves, and remember, cells that fire together, wire together. So about two thirds of our brain energy budget, ATP, 
is used to help neurons send signals to neighbor neurons. So the more ATP you're producing, the better the communication between the neurons. So the remaining one third is used for housekeeping or cellular maintenance. So that's good to know. Now the heart. Now magnesium, it does, it's involved with muscle contractions. So this is good for the heart rhythm, the nerve function. Yes, this could be a natural beta blocker. There are many different types of magnesium. This is why I always say do your research because magnesium orotate and taurine, or taurate, sorry, that is good for the heart. But remember one thing, dosage, the doses is vary because if you have magnesium oxide, which is good for constipation, because magnesium is a smooth muscle relaxant, especially magnesium oxide, if you're taking a high dose like this, and you're taking magnesium oxide, remember it's good for constipation. So low blood magnesium levels show up in seizures, hypertension, stroke, migraines, and ADHD. In addition, low blood magnesium levels result in insulin resistance and type two diabetes. So magnesium, do your research, has a lot of benefits to it. Now, why would you have a magnesium deficiency? It could be foods, it could be medication, it could be diet, it could be lifestyle, it could be stress. The more stressed out you are, remember magnesium is involved with over 600 enzymatic processes in your body. So if you're running from the dinosaur and so stressed out, what's gonna be used up first? The magnesium, because the magnesium is going to fuel the brain. So you may need more, doses vary. So if you have a deficiency, this could be associated with, with Alzheimer's disease. Because treatment, treatment with magnesium three and eight, amongst others, decreases the beta amyloid deposits in the brain. That's that plaque. And also the number one thing you can do for Alzheimer's is diet. Eliminate the sugars. Sugars, sugars, sugars will is then one factor that causes the plaque in the brain because it causes brain inflammation. In addition, the brain is able to rebuild signaling pathways in the neurons helping to restore the memory. So this is a good product if you have dementia, if you have Alzheimer's or the such. Okay, so what's the dosage? All right, all right, all right. So the word of the day is dose. A lot of people write in and say, Dr. Jawad, what's the dose of this? What should I take the dose for that? And I would say, do your research. Remember, because dosage varies. However, you can stack up the dose, depending on what the future event is. So dose, up to one gram a day. Up to one gram a day, depending on who you are, how big you are, your stature, the event coming up, and how depleted you are, and or your situation. Somebody who is trying to treat Alzheimer's or dementia, they're going to stack it up a little bit higher than somebody who is, you know, five foot two, you know, weighs very little and is just studying for exams. So the dosage varies, but you can do up to one gram a day. The recommended dosage is anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day and it's water soluble, so whatever you take, you excrete out what you don't use. Now, it, you can stack it up though, because again, the more elemental, well, the magnesium you're taking in, it does hold it, okay? So if you need to take more because of an event, that's fine. Now, the side effects. Side effect, now magnesium is a smooth muscle relaxant, so if you take too much of magnesium, any type of magnesium, remember there's more, over eight different types of magnesium depending on your uh, situation. A side effect of any magnesium is diarrhea and bloating. Now the good thing about magnesium l 3 8 it contains less elemental magnesium. Remember what elemental magnesium, that's the actual magnesium because magnesium doesn't stand alone. It's a magnesium salt. Less elemental magnesium per dose, so it should not cause much GI upset. And if it does, just back down the dosage. Now, remember, elemental magnesium is the amount of actual magnesium in the supplement. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment, subscribe, share with a friend. And thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Be good.